as one looks on the world, as it were, from a distance, one cannot have feeling that one is in a point not dissimilar to what Britain was in in 1939, and all as yet seemed very calm, but it was the calm before the storm. World history has always gone up and down. Indeed, our blessed lady at Fatima did warn that if people did not heed, then there would be another war. And it came, of course, precisely in that moment, 1939. And there would be a sign, she said, indicating that that happened in 1938. The famous light of the air. But time does go on, and souls go on as well. It's as though we were in a great race, a relay race. At the beginning of the Olympic Games, the torch of fire is passed on to the next runner. That is very ancient. And many have run the race and gone on to their reward. In the monastic life, there are certain safeguards against running too fast into the beyond. It is the fact that one is called classically by the bell, and even on occasions the bells. It hit me hard years ago at St. Michael's Abbey, Farnborough. They were having four brand new massive bells cast in London, classically. And they had a belfry of sorts, purpose-built to house them. And now they ring out. But what hit me was, it's something similar in the monastic world and in the Catholic world in general to what they have in Muslim countries. For in the Holy Land, one could not but be hit by the call to prayer, even in the heart of night. Punctuation marks over the sentence of the day. It's good to have these punctuation marks. In Ireland, the Andalus is still heard, actually even on the main television. We do well to realize that we are only here for a while. At Selignac, now closed, it was written on the bell, quid clamabo, what shall I call? And the answer also was written on it, omnis caro fin, all flesh is grass. as new bells are being cast. A molten moment of eternity at this repeating hour. Herein is cast in lambent heat whose cooled serenity will shape the frigid hours Slow trickling past these windows that look down upon a world oft called, recalled by brazen muetzin sound from its own noisy clamor. Ever whirled back forth, back forth, till hushed 
by rushed fates bound. Oh, passing of a whimper, where in earth re echoes her son's cry. Thou seemest all to all that hear thy pain or hoard thy mirth. Yet these new souls inanimate will call each dusk and dawn across a din to fall. There is time yet, one gap from time 